Hey everybody, Mark here with the Average Me Channel, and today I'm in Midland, Texas, and I'm visiting the home of two former U.S. presidents and two U.S. governors. <music> Of course, I'm talking about the Bush family. George Herbert Walker Bush and George W. Bush both lived in this home. It's known as George W. Bush's childhood home. But they both lived here, of course, being a father and son, and also Governor Jeb Bush. Let's take a look. So the nice thing about this, as this picture indicates, there is evidence at the dedication that yes, indeed, that very famous family did at one time live here. And look at this. It says bottom to top, there is young George Bush. And there is young Jeb Bush. And there is Jeb Bush playing in the slide as a young boy. Now look at that structure. And you see it right over there. really has quite an unassuming structure for such a famous family to have lived. And my name is Rosemary. Nice to meet you. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. So this is what it was like when they lived here. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. this house was built in 1939, and the lady that had it built, it cost her $5,000 to build this house. And the Bushes came here in 1950 and bought it for $9,000. $9,000. Boy, what a nice family photo there. Yeah, that is, isn't it? All those pictures are, a lot of them are from in the White House, and some of them are at the Crawford Ranch where they, here in Dallas. All these pictures in the center is pictures that were taken when they lived here in this house. And all the kids were little. And so this is probably the house right in the background. Uh-huh, it is, uh-huh. And this out there on the front porch there. Oh, that's where we just walked in? Uh-huh. Hmm. So what did George Sr. do when he lived here? Well, he worked in the oil fields. Okay. Uh, he had just, whenever they moved down here in, I think it was um, 47 or 8, I'm not sure what year they moved down here originally. They moved to Odessa. And uh, he had just graduated from Yale University. And he ran into a friend of his at a wedding, and he talked to him, and he, cause he told him he didn't want to work with his dad. He didn't want to work with his in-law. He wanted to get out on his own. So he said, well, there's an oil boom going down in Midland, Texas. If you want to come down there, we can put you to work. So that's what he did. He came down to, and he rented a little house in Odessa, and, uh, and then he, Barbara and George W. came down with him. And he his his there. father was a senator, correct? U.S. senator? In Connecticut, uh-huh. Okay. okay, well this room here was a garage when the house was originally built. And the next owner, he wanted more room, so he made a den out of it. And he built a garage mm -hmm. out in the backyard. But so this, 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 the this was, was not, this was here during the Bushes? This or? was here when the Bushes lived here, yeah. Okay. And there was only two owners of the house before they bought it. And that was the original builder and then another gentleman that owned it. Well, it's a nice old TV there. Well, the TV, that's exactly the same one they had. 
and it's not it, but it's exactly like it. His, her, Barbara's mother and dad gave them that when they, uh, they had, he bought, he get, was uh, working for an oil company, and then he started working for Dresher Oil Company, and they sent him out to, as a, he was a salesman for oil field products, and they sent him to Bakersfield, California. And they were out there when they gave him that, that TV for Christmas. Then they moved back here, and that's when they bought this house. And this little room, when they redone the garage, they built this on as a sunroom. And Barbie used it as a nursery and play room for uh, Jeb and Neil. And they were pretty little then. George W. was five when they moved in here, and their, his sister Robin was two. And then they, Jeb was born while they lived here, and then Neil was born while they lived here. Wow. And all the wallpaper on the wall and the linoleum on the floor is uh, the exact same thing that they had when the Bushes lived here. They were able to, did a lot of research, and they found a, the company that was still in operation, so they were able to buy the exact same thing that she had in here. And I saw a picture where the president was here for the grand opening of this. Well, uh, George Sr. was here, right. and Barbara, yes, and Laura was here. But George W. didn't get to come. He was president then, and he was out of the country. But he came a couple months later. That's pretty fascinating, two presidents. Well, two presidents, two governors, and the first lady. Exactly. All at the same time. So that's quite a historical event. Maybe that happened with the Adams, and that's about it. A little, a lot of closets, and they're all small. There's two in this hallway, and one you just about have a bedroom, which is sort of unusual for a 1939 house. You didn't have closets back then, days. And this is the kitchen, and this is the this is the dishes that Barbara had, the pattern that she had, and she always matched her wallpaper with her dishes. She says she still does that. I thought, well, that's. I, guess I can believe that. That uh, seems yeah. like her, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the wallpaper's not exactly what she had, but uh, it's close. She said she'd approve it. They couldn't find the exact same thing for that. And the refrigerator's sort of unusual. They had one similar to this. Theirs was white. And Laura's mother donated this one to uh, the house. She lives, of course, Laura grew up here in Midland. So they didn't live but about five blocks from here. But anyway, she donated it to the house, and it still runs. It's like a 1949 model, and it, you plug it in, it still works. <laughs> but it's sort of unique. It's got a foot pedal on the bottom, and it opens up. And it also has the Lazy Susan shelves that they turn. And they also raise up and down whatever height you want. And then they has the freezer with the metal lining and the metal ice trays. Well, I almost hate to admit it, I remember those. <laughs> when Which I... is not, it doesn't have the automatic defrost. That was the only bad thing about these refrigerators. Very nice. And another pantry or closet there? This goes into the room we just came from. Oh, okay. The, this was, she used that as her dining room area there by those windows. The okay. rest of it she used as the living room. Oh, that's nice. And this is a pantry or I guess it was a pantry or room closet or something. That little closet over there was for an ironing board. It attached to the wall and you pulled it down and did your ironing there. And then underneath, of course, was for your supplies. Mm -hmm. They don't have an ironing board in it. I thought, Paul, we need to put an ironing board in there. And they had a washer drawer in this corner here, but uh, they haven't been able to find any for it. But the merchants used to give a salt and pepper shakers away that looked like the washer and dryer. So that's what it would look like if they was ever able to find any. Of course, on the shelves and on the cabinets, that's all 1950 
popular items that they had back those days. And here they are. Yeah, that's George W. and Jeb on his, Jeb's first birthday. And that would have been right here. Right in that corner, huh? Well, here's the washer and dryer. dryer. So, so that would be right here right in this corner. In this area. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the phone that they use. Oh, this is theirs. Their, no, it's oh. not theirs. It's like theirs. And their phone number was Mutual 44380. I don't suppose I would get the president if I called that now. I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. I get always tickled at the girls. We got uh, fifth graders tours that we come in in the fall, and they're fascinated with the phone. And then they'll see the card, you know, and say, well, how do you take that to your bedroom to talk on it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, honey, you don't take it to the bedroom. You talk on it there. And this is George Douglas bedroom. In this room, they had painted over all this naughty pine, the ceilings and the walls, and wallpapered it, and covered it up, took all the shelves out, the bed out. And uh, so when they start cleaning all the walls off, they seen the invention of the bookshelves. So they started researching a little bit more, and with Barbara's help, they was able to get it back the way it was when they lived here. It was quite a mess. So the family was really helpful yes. in the restoration of she this. She was very helpful with it. Because somebody built part of the bath over there and they shut off these windows. And well, she's such a nice lady. Yeah, you know, I can, I can just imagine her wanting to help. And George W., he was a Roy Rogers fan, him and all the boys in the neighborhood. So that's the reason for Roy Rogers' picture in here. And that's a picture of him the first time he came to see the house. And did he approve of the uh, yes, of the changes? Yes, he, he was very pleased. So he's standing right there, right there yeah. in front of me. <laughs> now I can say I'm just like George so W. This Bush. Piece of furniture is the only piece of furniture in the house that actually belonged to them, and. Uh, Barbara left it here when they moved to the bigger house here in Midland because she didn't want it anymore and uh, she was quite surprised when she seen it when she came for the ribbon cutting but every owner and every renter just left it here so we would have known that was theirs until she so she recognized it when she came in it. Uh -huh. wow yeah and look at that wall heater yeah those are just well it's you see the heat, the furnace later on the, it was a floor furnace. All right. So it didn't get to these bedrooms very good. Well, let's move on. And the croquet set there, and they mm -hmm. played with that out here in the backyard. One of his childhood buddies brought it, uh, brought it and donated it to the house when it opened. So they actually played with the set? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. And this is the major part of the heat system in the house. It's just a floor furnace, and I don't know if you may have seen these before, but they've got a fan behind those burners that you can see, and it kick on, and it's supposed to circulate the heat. Mm -hmm. It might have got the hallware warm, but not the rooms. And that's the original light fixture, the only one in the house that's still original. And it got cracked when they were moving things in, but the other light fixtures are duplicates. And this was the master bedroom. This was Barbara and President Bush's bedroom. And they sort of made an exhibit of some of the old, the old businesses that used to be downtown and the old courthouses. And that's some of the beginning of the oil industry down here. find their name in there, their oil company and their house when they lived here. Let's see if I can find them. There it is. I can see it. President Bush, him and Barbara, they decided they would take the offshore drilling part of it and they moved down there. 
that's why he's back in Houston. They had another daughter while they moved down there. They had six children all together. And they were very instrumental in getting the hospital built down here, downtown. It's the same building still there, but it's been built around a newer mm -hmm. one. YMCA, they got, they were instrumental in getting that going, and it's also got a lot of new stuff built around it. But for a young couple, they were very active in, in progress of Midland. And they had a door from their bedroom right to the outside. Yeah, both these bedrooms on this side of the house has a door on the outside. Mm -hmm. And I know older houses down here used to always had an outdoor. And right out there, that's a nursery. Yeah. Right across the way. Yeah. Here's a picture of when they first came to Midland, Odessa area back in 48. And, that's, and uh, it took them 12 hours to fly from New York to Midland. And George W. was two years old. That's his mom and dad right there. And of course, here's the bathroom. This was the only bathroom in the house. And it's no shower, just a bathtub. And most people can't believe there's no shower. I said, back in the 50s, there was no such thing as a shower. <laughs> but the Bushes remodeled the bathroom in 1952, I believe it was. And that's the original fixtures that they had put in when they. Oh, it. really? And the tile on the wall is plastic. Hmm. And there's a, a linen closet behind that door, which is sort of unusual for a house built in the 39s. I think that lady was just a little ahead of her time. That was for your dirty clothes. Got another closet. They're all very small closets. And this room was Robin's room when she was alive. She passed away from leukemia when she was just a couple weeks short of her fourth birthday. But they made it a baseball exhibit room because they were in the baseball. And of course, here's some shots of George W. out here in the front yard playing baseball. That was something else that they did while they were here. They got the Little League program started here in Midland, which still exists today. So this picture is right in the front yard. Uh-huh. Now the picture up above it is George H.W. When he was still at Yale University, he was captain of the baseball team for two years, and that's Babe Ruth. And of course, that's a picture of President Bush throwing the first baseball out at the World Series after 9-11. Uh, he loves baseball, doesn't he? <laughs> Part owner of the Texas Rangers back before he became governor of Texas. And then he had to sell his part of the Texas Rangers. Again, we have a door opening to the outside from the bedroom. That's kind of unusual, isn't it? Well, it is, but uh, the older houses, some of them, a lot of them had outdoor. And that goes into the kitchen? Yeah, that goes into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So this is where Mark the dog lived? Yeah, that's where Mark the dog lived. <laughs> I wonder if I was named after him. I might have. <laughs> might have. Homeland Heroes? Plenty of books. Yeah, they got a lot of books written by. We had the Portraits of Courage, that book there with all the paintings of George W's. Mm -hmm. They were displayed down here at the uh, museum in the Southwest. Patches. Brass bookmarks, look at that. Postcard 
cards here with a lot of things. Oh, let's see what do we have here. Christmas ornaments. How long has the house been open? Uh, 12 years this month. 12 years. So we can get our flag pins for a dollar and a half. This is really, oh, I have to get my picture taken with the president. Yeah. <laughs> and I picked up some postcards to send to my Patreon people. They're gonna, some of you are going to get some postcards from George W. Bush's childhood home. Well, now that we've seen President George W. Bush's childhood home, we are going to see if we can find the home of the First Lady, Laura Bush. I think I found it. And there's an old 1956 Chevy. Behind me is a childhood home of Laura Bush, who of course at that point was Laura Welch, and she was the daughter of Jenna and Harold Welch, and her father Harold had this house commissioned, had it built in 1960. 2,500 square feet, and people are living there, so I'm going to be respectful, but I'm going to see if I can just kind of walk around and take a look at it. Laura Bush lived in this house as a teenager from 1961 to 1963. And it's a corner home. Interestingly enough, so was the Bush house. It's a nice looking home. But this is the home that Laura Bush spent her teen years in. Imagine that tree was just a sapling when she lived here, if at all. So that was a fascinating tour of George W. Bush's childhood home. And I don't know why they focus on George W. Because his father and mother and brother also all lived here. So thanks for joining me. I'm Mark with the Average Me Channel.